All right, Bitten, what can you tell me? All I know is there's a book, it's werewolves, that's what I got. Um, I've done a little more research than that, but we'll start there. Yeah, no, we've, um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, our show's called Bitten, it's adapted from um, the, the novel series um, by Kelly Armstrong, the Canadian author, and um, it's, it's about the only known female werewolf, this lovely lady, and um, her struggle to kind of live a life, a normal life in the city, and her obligations to her pack. And you're her pack? We're the yes. pack. We're two, two members yeah, of it. Yeah, Jeremy is sort of the pack alpha, and Clay, who is her pack love interest. Um, and uh, there's just a lot of uh, tension and violence and excitement. As Snoopy, you'd understand that. You're like an honorary pack member sort right of. now. Snoopy runs with the wolves. I yeah. would love to. You should You should get me in an episode and I'll just run by in the background. People will be like, yes. what the hell was that? That wouldn't wow. be much different from our stand-in dog that we have. It's like a big stuffed husky. Oh, really? Yeah. Just replace it. It would actually be better. Do you have real dogs on set? Are there actual animals? Yeah. yeah. So everyone always says don't work with animals and children. What's what's it like? Well, well we this is a child, and yeah. so, you're, you're, so it's not yes. too bad. It's thank, all right. thank Laura. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we actually um, the VFX team. We use our, our line producer's dog Chewy. Um, big uh, beautiful German Shepherd. Big, big German yeah. Shepherd, and just we run him through the take um, at, at the end of the shot, and uh, just so they can see how the fur plays and the lighting on the fur. So we actually do use dogs. They're not going to film it and use it in the show, but just so the VFX guys can right. see how the fur plays or would play. In that lighting, that. yeah. So, so what's it like working with, like, looking at nothing? Is, is that... Oh, that must you be... feel like the biggest idiot. When you're, when you... I do this scene where this Only wolf... Only when you're working with, on our show, you feel like... I always idiot. feel like <laughs> the yeah. biggest idiot. So it's very gentle. You yes. have a life jacket on him the whole time. It's, <laughs> no, but like, I, I did this one scene where, where there's a mutt in wolf form running at me. And obviously, he's not there. And then Elena's character, wolf... Saves me last minute. Jumps out of the f more bruises. Hits yeah. hits the wolf from, and swipes it out of the frame. And I gotta watch this stuff. And it's not there, but it's. I mean, it's yeah. You feel like an idiot. You just gotta sell it. But the best part of that story was you smacking her, not even yeah. noticing you did that. Not did even I smack her. Did I smack her? Look at where, where all these. Look are at that bruise from. you where just gave her. That was crazy. No. My face. So do you guys go back and forth to the book to get to get back into character? Like, are you do you consistently go back to the the novel to to find your characters, or did no. you just do the one read through, figure things out? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we generally just all sort of reviewed the men of the other world and bitten to get to know what what it was all about in the fan base, and uh, I mean that's what I did, and and I think after the first couple of episodes, we all just sort of developed the characters in a way that worked for us and brought our own thing to it and developed our relationships, and then um, there was no real need to go back to the books because uh, I felt like we sort of all felt comfortable and sort of slid into our roles. Yeah, and it's 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 like a source. It's, it's a good source to have and, and to refer to. But I mean, as actors, we kind of have to take artistic license to to make Maybe it our own. Right. And uh, so uh, yeah, it's, that's that. Snoopy, <laughs> I have to stop this interview. All I right, just Laura. realized we match. Oh yeah, we so do. Amazing. I I that's so important to comment on right now. <laughs> Does it? And, and you know what? We're actually right? framed perfectly with the two black in between. Right? Wow. That is, wow, we didn't even plan no. that. No. I think that's where we should end it. It's fantastic. At perfection. High paw. High, high paw. High paw. <laughs> I'm going to pause for a moment before we do. Oh, oh. that was good. Can we get good. some applause? Oh, this no, might be no. a little applause. rough. Applause. Applause. Yeah. yeah. No. I, I'm going to go with it. Nice. Just, Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you very Wait, much. when can we see it? January on space. January on space. And in space. And in yes, for your next visit to the moon. <laughs> I don't know if that part got caught on camera before. Yeah, no, 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 I just look crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he goes to the sound bites. Yeah. <laughs>